25 years later, we're showing that we're standing on a solid stone, that right here in New York, we have the largest LGBTQ plus community. You have a right to be who you are, and where you are is New York. Happy Pride. We were able to put back $58 million in our libraries. We know what the libraries represented to so many people, and that's why that was one of the priorities with both the council and the city hall. For this mayor, for the city council to invest, to produce this kind of result in this neighborhood speaks volumes to your values, to what New York stands for. An additional $2 billion via the budget deal reached last week, making this administration's commitment to housing a historic $26 billion. That's a record level. Uh, it has never been done before. When we build housing for working class people, families, immigrants, we allow everyone to have the opportunity to pursue the American dream. If you're running a location like this one, clearly the mayor's telling you that we're coming and we're going to come to close your location down. 100% of the legal locations have been inspected. This site here uh, really personifies what we are talking about. But the community's complaints are what drive our enforcement, and we appreciate that. We want to encourage them to continue to share the information with us. Uh, when we took office, we saw everything from shootings to illegal mopeds, dirt bikes, uh, ghost cars. And when you have six straight months of a decrease in crime, it says that the initiatives that we have put in place, they are working. In the first half of this year, major crime in the transit system is down almost 7%. This is a clear case of the NYPD identifying an issue, creating a plan to address it, and executing the plan effectively. New York City is the safest big city in America.